Hello all, welcome back to Learning Partner. If you are new, please do subscribe. This is another channel where you can directly connect with me. We have around 1000 plus members already who are working. We take live coding sessions and everything so to just get notified about those sessions. Please do join this group. So in this video, we are going to see how do we implement Swagger in our .NET Core API project. So first of all, what is Swagger? So Swagger will create a well documentation of your, what are the APIs you have created and what are the controls you have? It will create a documentation of that and you can execute that also. Normally, what do we do? Once we create a, a API project to test it, we use Postman. So instead of Postman, you get to see everything in the Swagger only. What object you need to send, what type of data you are going to get, what is the method, everything, whatever you have created in the API project, you get to see everything in a proper representational way so let's see how do we implement it so if you are following my videos this is the same project which i am following from the when i started the dotnet and the angular project so inquiry app is the project now inside this project we have to implement the swagger so for that first we need to go to tools we need to install a package and then you get package manager and the package manager console fine so over here we need to install uh, Sorry, I open the, we need to go to the manage package, uh, NuGet package manager solution over here. Here we need to search it. So what's the package we have to install? Swashbuckle.asv.net core. So this you need to search over here. Then the first package you need to select. The latest version is I think 7.3.1. Let's select the project and install it. So along with this package, there are several packages also that will also get installed. So you just need to click apply and accept. So it will install the particular package and its dependent packages into your API project. So this is done. Fine. So you can see now uninstall button is enabled means this package is installed. After that, you need to go to program.cs. So in program.cs, what you need to do is you need to enable the swagger. So for that in services, that is after add controller builder dot services dot add swagger gen like this fine this is the basic implementation first we are saying then i will uh, show some exact uh, advanced implementation like how do we group and everything so once you do this after that before that we will need the api explorer also let's try that builder dot services dot add endpoint explorer yes this also needed so in services you need to add two services add builder add endpoint api api explorer and the add swagger gen after that in your app folder sorry in app uh, once you get the app object of your uh, project so here you need to add after https redirection if statement if app dot environment is like production mode so that is production down bracket curly bracket then app dot use swagger like this then app dot use swagger ui these two things you need to add fine let's try this if it works or not Let's run the project. So once you install the package, after that in program.cs, you need to do this thing, then you can run. Let's give it some time. Okay, so by default, this port is open. After that, how do we access the Swagger? So after that, you need to add Swaggers slash index.html. Let's enter. Wait, why it is not working? Do I miss something or what? Something is wrong. Let me check what we missed. We need this before. Let's try this before HTTPS direction. Let's stop it. Let's run it one more time. Sequence also matter over here. Still not working. Again, we missed something or what? And 
over here swagger jane i think this also needed at the end let's try so this issue you are also going to face i'm i'm also facing the same so you will know like how to resolve because sequence matter over here let's try now still just give me a moment what i did wrong Instead of this production let's go with its development and let's try let me stop it and run it again this development should work yes so see you got your swagger implemented so what are the controllers we have created if you see the controllers where is controller So in controller, you can see appointment, employee, inquiry, master, master, user, and weather forecast, right? So all those controllers are available over here. What are the APIs you have created in each controller? All those are available. Let's try this. So now, how do we use, right? So you get try it out button over here. If you click on it, and then you can execute. So how what we used to do in Postman, same thing, you can test the API by using Swagger itself. See, data also you got. add bulk state so see here it is saying what type of data you need to send to this api we have to send array of object of this then in get api here it is 200 but sometimes like if we are specifying what type of data i am going to return also so see this api is going to return this type of data so everything what your api documentation how your api what is the method what type of data it needs what type of data it is going to return everything you will be able to see so normally when we work on a industrial project in every industrial project we normally have the swagger because ui team has to integrate whatever the api because every time you cannot specify like this is the url this is the object you need to send you cannot explain this to the ui team so you have a swagger and there you explain it everything fine so this is how you implement the swagger now consider this is very basic implementation apart from this let's say you are working on a project and there are so many controllers around let's say 20 or 30 controllers are there so you cannot show all the controllers over here in the single go only right it will be very difficult to filter it out so for that we can group the controller also so that here at the top you will get currently that uh, version is going over uh, showing over here here we can show the drop down of the controller so at a time we can filter it out also properly so for that we need to do some modification okay so let's try that now so that we will call it as a grouping or the fill adding the filter let's stop it now when we added a normal uh, when we enable the no normal swagger so this was the basic right in swagger gen we didn't pass any option now if we have to add a uh, grouping to so add swagger gen option round bracket complete now over here options dot swagger doc let's say go with v1 in comma new open api info for this we might need one input yes so microsoft open api models then round curly bracket here we need to provide the title so title we can say whatever the controllers we have let's say first is like appointment then version is optional description we can give appointment booking
comma version let's provide the version also v1 so this is one just like that we can create one more let's copy paste second one will be for let's say employee employee controller fine so here we have created two groups of the uh, means my employee and the appointment now we have to add in our app setting so scroll down wait, wait, wait. we need to comment this now we are not going to need this just like that over here instead of swagger ui app dot swagger ui round bracket option pt dot we have to provide swagger document swagger endpoint then here we have to provide the proper path also so slash swagger slash our version that will be v1 v1 only we have here now let's give it same everywhere swagger dot json comma then whatever the name we have given title over here so appointment let's copy this is first and second is employee hmm. let's save and check if we get the drop down It is taking time. Okay, so here it is baking an item with the same key has already been added. Why well, it is saying like this? Item has the same key. An item with the same key has already been added a key. V1. Okay. Here V2. Let's try V2 over here. It should be unique, I think. Let's try. Standard UI index. Okay, so here you can see now we got the controller. If we select employee. So currently, what is happening? We didn't create it for everything. So, like this, you have to create for everything. Okay. So, what are the controllers you have? Like that, you need to create right currently we have so many right so just like that you have to create your definitions over here in the builder services then your in app also you need to have separate separate swagger json also after that you need to go to your respective controller and there you need to add api explorer thing api api explorer setting and the group name is equal to double quote whatever the group name you want to give that will be let's say first is employee appointment let's copy this and in our employee controller it will be employee whatever the title you specified over here that you need to give it over here let's rebuild again I select employee again see why nothing is working let me try employee 
So remainings are coming because we didn't create everything. Now that might be the reason. Wait, did we miss something or what? We created over here. Does our controller need to be the same name? Let's try the same name everywhere. Let me just create the remaining also so that actually we can see. See, we did some mistake. So you, over here, you need to provide the your controller name. So this controller name will go over here. And over here, employee, over here. Then whatever the name you have given her, respective Swagger, swagger uh, means uh, Swagger.json will be created. So a respective folder will be created with the same name what you give over here. So instead of A1, we have to provide our controller name just like employee also. Now we should be able to filter it out. So just like this, you need to create uh, entries for remaining your remaining of your controller also. Let's try. So if we select employee, you can see employee is coming. If you select appointment, appointment is coming. Remaining controllers will be like that because we didn't created it. So for doesn't matter what you select, this will be available. So once you create the entries for this also, only particular whatever the controller you selected, that will only be visible. Fine. So this is how you group the controller also in the Swagger. So you need to uh, create the entries in Swagger Jain also. And then in app setting, you have to provide the what JSON and what folder you are going to get that. Fine. So this is very basic thing what you should know when we implement the Swagger in our .NET Core API project. Fine. So again, just you know, like I have started this series with uh, so that we should be aware like how APIs and how Angular communicate, what things we should be aware in API. Even if you have this much knowledge also, no? so you can start as a full stack developer, right? You can again learn so many things, but I'm just enabling you so that basic idea like how .NET API get created, what are things we should be in aware. So what are the practical scenarios we have that I'm taking bulk upload, file upload, right single with multiple entity normal crud api uh, reading the data from the stored procedure that will be again coming fine so that's it thank you guys